Legendary Tower Power bassist Rocco Prestia has died. He was 69. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. I don't really believe when people say things come in threes, but they did this time around. Rocco Prestia, Tower of Power, Helen Reddy, Mac Davis. I know it's a coincidence. Francis Rocco Prestia has been battling a lot of different ailments, had a kidney transplant in 2014. Heavily influential bass player. And though a lot of people might not have known his name, he basically edged on a lot of other great bass players. On the official Tower of Power band site, they wrote, Our dear Rocco passed away last night peacefully with his family by his side at a hospice in Las Vegas. As a bass player, he was totally unique, and as a person, he was one of a kind. And now he is with the Lord, and heaven is his home. To say Rocco was a huge part of the Tower of Power sound is a gross understatement. When people listened to Tower of Power, it was always Rocco that they walked away talking about, and he was a major impact on the music world. Rocco was born March 7th, 1951 in California. His first instrument was the guitar. He picked it up when he was 10. A few years later, he picked up the bass and he told Bass Player Magazine that the only thing he really knew about the bass was that it was much bigger than him. Tower of Power have had a huge influence on groove funk music since the early 70s with hit singles like You're Still a Young Man in 1972. So very hard to go the following year. In 1974, there was Don't Change Horses. Classic albums like the 1973 self-titled album that went gold in the U.S. And Urban Renewal reached number 22 on the charts in 1975. But overall for Tower of Power, it's not about singles. It's not about going gold and platinum. It's about how many people musicians would stop and stare at the speakers when listening to them. It's about the influence they had. As a huge Elton John fan, I remember noticing Tower of Power in the credits for the Caribou album in 1974. I was 14 years old at the time, which made me look back and go, who are these guys? I think I should know these guys. They're playing with Elton John. And realizing the influence they had even back then. When I was doing jazz music on radio and was co-chair of the the National Jazz Awards here in, in Canada, I had a chance to meet and hang out with Greg Adams, who was on that Elton John album. I remember sitting across from Greg and his wife, Andrea, as he was just telling me tales of working with Tower of Power. He's since gone on to do his own thing now. Rocco, may you rest in peace. You play with Tower of Power. You got some chops. You got the talent to walk into that room. Did you ever know him? Get to meet him? Favorite tracks that he's featured on? See him in concert? Any of your comments would be appreciated. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.